You made it yellow. Dang it. What? Yeah. Okay. We have to be influencing properly. We could have been one of the first, but Jesse didn't want this to happen. I've been wanting to build this bike, but a hardtail, not World Cup for like so long. I think a drop bar hardtail is like the coolest gravel bike ever. I think that this is just the next evolution of drop bar hardtail, right? We have yeah. the evolution of a hardtail. Coincidentally, also the evolution of drop bar hardtail, yeah. the same, same. I don't know if you need this suspension on the gravel, but yes. I don't think it's a negative. Unicorn confetti, confetti colorway. So Trey's doing something that I wouldn't do on this channel, which is he's actually putting a spacer above the stem. Um, Resale value. <laughs> and we got a, we got a matching one, so we have a purple um, top cap to go with the purple Laguna pasta. Laguna pasta. Is that working? It's not it sharp did, enough. Wait, no, it, 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 no, it's perfect. It did a thing. Do you think this is gonna ride? Um, I don't know if I'd say I'm optimistic as someone who likes lighter, stiffer bikes. No, this is stiffer but than any bike that's ever existed. Compared to a bike with like zero suspension. Th this like, is stiffer than a bike with zero suspension. That's what so I'm I telling think, you. I think in my mind, I'm going to be comparing this to like a Crux. It's stiffer than the Crux. I had a Crux. I'm not even joking. Well, let's see. My, I have weird opinions and Trey's going to be the judge of if this bike is truly what I think it is, which is the best gravel bike. I wish I had this color. I'm really jealous of you. Unicorn vomit. I, I tried to get this color and there was like a clerical error. <laughs> what? <laughs> What happened was Specialized uh, sent us this bike and I opened the box and the sticker right here said medium on it. And I was like, yes, my bike came in. And then it turned out to be false. And this is actually large and they just put the wrong sticker on it. The box said it was a large. So I was stoked because I thought they sent out the wrong frame and it was like, gonna be mine. Due to like just a total accident, the medium got canceled, ended up with the black one, which I love too, but I could have had Pasta Boy. We could have had matching pasta boy bikes. That would actually be sick. I know, that's what I'm saying. We okay. You, I mean, you don't have to have it. Hmm. We might have to have you, it. It, it. It is a five mil spacer. It's on the stool tray. Extra spacage. What are you doing? So you can preload properly. No, you can do, you can preload with the rubber. You can preload with the rubber, but I didn't. I don't know what we're doing anymore. This is, this is off. This is, I mean, this whole build is off the rails, but. So did you do anything intelligent um, in terms of measuring to figure out how long the stem should be? I or are you just guessing? measured my crux from nose of the saddle to hoods. And we don't have hoods on here right now, but I did like a rough estimate to hoods area. And we went with a 70 mil stem. We'll see what happens. And we, um, technically, I think we need a negative 25. Um, currently it's a negative 17, but we don't have a negative 25 for obvious reasons. That'd be such a wild stem, like a 70 negative 25. I said we should get the Lachlan Morton. Yeah. Droop down boy, adjustable thing. I tried to do that and you said no. They don't, they should make like performance adjustable stairs. They're gonna have to, cause this is the future of gravel. Maybe they'll just make a bike that like is set up the right way. They did, this is what we're, like we're just inventing it right now. This is the, this is the optimal setup. This is optimal, I wanna reiterate that. My last video, I was pretty aggressive and I still have the same mentality. We did just film that like an hour ago though. So same, same mindset. This is uh, the best gravel bike ever. We're going to prove it. Roval Rapide 38. <laughs> Probably my favorite bar I ever made. Arrow boy. Is, is that what you would have gone with? No, but I was too afraid to do this. Scared money don't make no money. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'll this one. I'm trying to decide if it would be more arrow to run this hose on this side or have it be like this. On mine, I flipped it around. The The stock bike comes with it that like this, sense. and I put it on this side. So we have this World Cup in stock, and like Specialized routed the brake, in my opinion, on the wrong side, like that, which is what we just did with Trey. Um, and then on mine, I've routed it like that, and I think that's a lot cleaner. The The hose kind of just disappears under the bike. So Trey, are you sure we shouldn't switch that? Because it'll have to do like a, an 
a down and up and around type of thing. Oh, you're putting the covers on? How do those do attach? The covers, there's like a little tiny screw that goes in right there. And then you just screw it on. We're not messing around. I feel like those are necessary. Yeah. Is the wind going to catch this though? Yeah, definitely. Dude, I think you should go under. Nope. Do you want to be arrow or not? I don't <laughs> So Trey's worried because this hose he thinks is going to like for it to come back into the arrow fly, it'd have to like go up and like rub against the stem. Here. Yeah. And it'd be too tight. I understand now. I, I think you could do it. I you definitely you can. Fly. We're trying to install these plastic pieces. What are these for? To make the bar look better. Why doesn't it just come like stock with that i think they make it easier to like route by not having like carbon or these pieces like pre-installed oh okay but that seems reasonable if you so i know this from past experience with these bars like if you are if you have it all mounted up it's like near impossible to get these things on so if you're building a bike with these bars put the plastic covers on before putting the rest of the bike together Getting ahead of ourselves. Cut the stem before you route the hoses. Yeah. Or cut the steer too, not stem. There's a lot of orders of events that we could definitely take, but yeah. sometimes they're better than others. Do you think we're actually uh, making a lighter bike or a heavier bike right now? I would assume it's heavier, right? The, Road shift like the, levers are definitely heavier than mountain bike. Is the bar heavier than a mountain bike bar? Like 190 grams? I think these are similar. I have no clue. I don't know. We'll don't wait. Have, we'll don't have to have curves. We'll figure it out. The uh, front brake is actually too short, which is very rare. Normally that's never a problem. I think it has something to do with the bars. So we're uh, we're getting this, my work area organized and um, this is kind of my current catalog of parts that we've been using for a lot of these. Yeah, I got my, the Pokemon card drawer. The, okay, what do we got over here? These are, that wouldn't work. Those are the first guide ultimates I ever got. That wouldn't work. Um, neither of those would work. What are these? That doesn't go in that drawer. Um, I just took, here we go. Okay, so what we gotta do here, these calipers are double-sided, so you can connect and disconnect hoses from both ends, use these newer ones, as opposed to the old ones that don't fit. That That's the new rear. Let's cut this hose, cut the banjo off. The, this is still usable. We can reinstall this on a different bike. Yeah. So let's pull this out, yeah. reinstall that, or we could route the hoses from these force calipers because the hoses would work the same. So like it, it's, up, it's up to you because we could just use completely fresh hoses. Yeah. You might as well just make that the front. We'll use one of these as the rear. So we're currently debating drilling a hole in the steer tube. Um, in the build video of my Epic World Cup, I wanted to do this. And what we're thinking is we could take this hose, run it straight through the crown, cut a hole somewhere in the steer tube. And, and then- have to be inside of the frame to come out of this hole. I was thinking you'd cut it on the back, like right there, and then it could pop out and then swing through there. I want to, but I just, it'd be kind of a liability. We're, Let's not do we're a bike shop. I mean, are, are we just below 500 bucks? I don't know what a new, I don't, I don't know what a new CSU costs. Someone from this YouTube video donates $500 to us. We'll do it. We could do it, but it basically just eats $500. So I don't really know if it's worth it or not. I want to do it. If I still own mine in like a year, maybe we'll do it to mine because that way, uh, that way I'll be sure I'm keeping that bike yeah. for the long term. This is the hose from the force lever. This is what I'm doing helping. <laughs> yeah? Oh, now you gotta, now gotta another work. thing. <laughs> Sweet. And then we'll need to- So much sauce being lost. <laughs> is this the same fitting for the other, like for the mountain bike brake, or is yeah. this different? I think it's shorter, actually. I think we need the longer one. Okay. We might have to cut this and then reinstall it. Yeah. You know what we, we should have done? If we were really smart, Trey, we could have undid the mountain bike brake, ran the new fitting all the way to the other side, and then put the hose through the frame and we would have saved ourselves a barb. I'm confused. The longer one is for mountain bike brakes and the shorter one is for road brakes. And uh, we are just gonna have to cut Looks like it's working though. This is the best thing we've ever done. I love this already. I know, it's so good. 
I'm so excited to see what size chain ring we can squeeze on it. Get it? See if it uh, works. Whoa. Doesn't even look that dumb, to be honest. It looks pretty cool. Like with the really... Integration. Yeah, I think that's why it's working. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we're gonna reuse these transmission master links. Jesse hasn't been doing it at all. You haven't yet, have you? No, I've never reused a master. But I think on my bike, I've probably put it on and off maybe like five times now, and I haven't had a problem yet. But <laughs> if your chain breaks, it's... and you break your kneecap or something on your handlebars, don't blame me. Blame SRAM. SRAM said not to do what we're doing, so that's why we're- You can still blame them though. Okay. Is this one of the limited edition? Yeah, it is. The 30 instead of- No, it's 25 20 instead of 30. 35. Yeah, limited edition. I think it works. Can you put some on the brakes too, the rubbing? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> that stuff smells so bad. It's a good dose of tri-flow. I always forget to tighten the rear axle before I adjust the brake. Well, no, it's good. It was already tight. You did transmission backwards. I thought it was gonna be way dumber looking. I I think it is it has the, other the, the bars are just really bothering me, but <laughs> because they're so narrow. But uh, other than that, so it's not the drop bars; it's the narrow, no, no, narrow the, the drops bars. don't bother me. It's just that they're like I don't know. They're like for somebody who's like three foot eleven. They're thirty eights. Wait, should we do this hack? Yeah, unhook the collar and then. How do you feel about Thunderbirds being the, the trendiest tire of 2024, Dad? Um, I have not run the new models. The old models were trash. So I quit running how them. Old, how old are we talking about? Ten years ago. Ten years ago, you couldn't ride 30 feet without getting a flat. <laughs> I think it's funny how full circle we are with everything right now. The whole point of this video was that this is the best gravel bike and it's actually a mountain bike and we put Thunderbirds on it. It really doesn't look as bad as I thought. It looks kind of cool. This could have been so bad. What if this is your favorite bike ever? I wouldn't be surprised. I know. I'm not even kidding either. I've already gone through the whole stages of grief thinking that mine is my favorite bike ever. Can you get the fit correct on it, it like it's set up? That's what we're trying to figure out. So we think it might need like a negative 25 stem. It's too tall. You think it's too yeah. tall? But I think my saddle height is about right. And it's like, I definitely couldn't ride a medium to get the front end lower because then the saddle would be even taller. If you like this, I'm totally gonna do it. I was mostly worried that it was gonna look bad. Now that I see this, I'm 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 more into it. Yeah. I don't well, cause I I haven't really seen a drop bar mountain bike that I thought looked really cool. This is kind of the first one that I think is pretty cool looking. First ride will be this Sunday for our gravel race pre ride. Glacial drainage. Come out if you're a local. I'll be using this bike for a lot of gravel races that I do this year. This is this is your everything bike now. RIP Crux. Well, uh, I like doing the time test videos, like the Trek versus or the Madone versus. No, we got to do this race. versus the Crux. So we're gonna do this bike versus the Crux because that seems fair. I already know that this bike will win. So we're almost done, other than we're not gonna wrap the bars tonight, cause um... Cause I'm tired. Yeah, Trey's gotta go home. Um... What amount of air was that? 90. Now it's 70. Now it's 60. <laughs> All of the cool tools we have around here, Jesse handed me this. I don't really have a nice shock pump, to be completely honest with you. They all suck. I can't, I've, never found, suck. I've never found one that was good. It can't be that hard to make a good one. Uh, for some reason it is. We're gonna do the three quarter gulp. Three quarter gulp? Set. No, one quarter gulp. One quarter gulp. Three quarter gulp would ride like awful. So we're on on the manual website and what I did is I set it up with the no gulp air pressure. So what you did? Like all the way. All the way blood. You wanna wait, compress it all the way so we can show everybody since it's got all the air out of it. Yeah, check that out. That's how it works. It'd be shocking. 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 At our quarter gulp Col setting? Yeah, do quarter gulp. Okay. Right there. So then you just do this. All right, now let up. Pump it? Pump it up. 
specialized thought that this would be what people did with their World Cup. I don't know. We posted it on our Instagram and our rep said, no. Oh, did he already say something? Yeah. Well, they shouldn't have made this bike so good. I gravel? Yeah, really. I mean, they shouldn't have. I feel like I'm helping them. We're going to sell more of these things because of I what we're so. doing, not because of... I think we're going to be selling drop bar Fallon bikes to more than one person. Yeah. This is what you're going to buy in five years anyway. You might as well just do it now. This will be production. They're going to advertise this to you in five years and we're just doing it. We're beating them to the punch. There you go. That feels so stiff. Yeah, it's supposed to. I, I explained this in the beginning of the whole video. It looks so much better than I expected it to look. Noise your pedals? Yeah, I don't do maintenance <laughs> on my own stuff. We, well, we just keep reusing, like we reuse the same parts. Like these are not, we don't just buy new parts every time. We, we reuse as much as we can. No, we buy new parts every time. Every time we drop I 10 grand on every video. Look, it's parts. jib. How do you feel? Whoa. Careful steering. I was wondering about that. I think you went too narrow on the bars. Bars look like my size. They are. That's a 38. That's exactly right. You, they are your size. Bro, these are wild. Do you want me to have it? Here you go. Jibby, what are your thoughts on drop bar mountain bike? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say like 21.9. What is it? Oh my gosh, you're so close. It's like 21.3. Oh. It's bouncing around a lot. 21.3. I'm gonna go with 21.3. That's lighter than my Diverge STR, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. Okay, bye. Is there anything else to say? Um, probably not until part three. Let me get my back really quick because I don't want to talk about part three. Part three of this video, I uh, recently put four piston brakes and some mountain bike tires on mine. I'm going to be racing this at Ozark Gravel Doom, War Daddy, a bunch of races this year. And what I want to do is, I've ridden this bike mostly on gravel so far, and I've only ridden it on trail a couple of times. And to give it a fair shake in part three of this video, once we ride these bikes a little bit more, I'm gonna do a full like mountain bike mode review of this bike. I feel like I have some negative opinions about it that could change as I get more experience on it. And racing it in a lot of races that are gravel and mountain bike trail combined, so. What that bike's made for. What this bike's really made for, but uh, I have a negative opinion about this bike. It's not a bad mountain bike, but I don't see the utility of it as like your only mountain bike you own right now. And maybe that'll change. Trey obviously has the more interesting thing going on. I'll only be using this bike for gravel. No mountain biking. We're gonna go mountain biking with it, with that I'm bar. Not you gotta do that like at least ride. once. Okay, we might try it once. Do you want some really skinny Thunderbirds or aero bars to put on your mountain bike, go to thebicyclestation.com.